guys, how's it going? Today I'm out at my parents' house in the orchard. I'm getting ready to spray the fruit trees. So I thought it would be a really good opportunity to share with you guys what we're spraying at this time of year um, and then how often we spray and kind of just the schedule of spraying, what we found success with in our area. I do not profess to be an expert on fruit trees, um, but I feel like I've been able to gain a lot of uh, knowledge throughout the years. I've had fruit trees before. My parents have had this orchard for as long as I can remember since I was a little girl. And we live adjacent to a town called Fruitland. So that kind of gives you an idea of how many orchards we have in this area. So I was able to talk to a lot of orchard owners when I was down at the garden center a lot. So I'm making a second application of dormant oil today. This is called All Seasons Horticulture and Dormant Spray Oil. And the good thing about dormant oil applications is that it envelops and smothers overwintering insect eggs. It also helps prevent a couple of diseases too, or helps combat them like powdery mildew and rust. Uh, the thing I like about it, it gives me peace of mind because I'm spraying and controlling bad insects when the beneficials are not out. So honeybees are not out right now, things like that. So I can get on top of things like aphids, mealybugs, whitefly, uh, coddling moths, just some big problems that we have in fruit trees. So the schedule of how we spray is typically late fall, like late November, after all the leaves have fallen off the trees, we do our first application of dormant oil. Then we do it again on a nice day in January sometime. And then the third application happens at like late February, early March. And uh, the orchard guys I have talked to said, if you miss the first two sprays, it's okay as long as you hit that last spray. Get that last spray in and you'll be okay. Of course, you know, you hit more insect eggs the more you spray. Um, so if you can do it three times, do that. And then after the fruit trees are almost done blooming and when about two thirds of the petals have fallen off, you'll start in with more of a contact kind of spray, something that addresses adult insects insects. So maybe something like Bioneem. There are several different kinds of sprays you can use um, depending on what insect you're dealing with. Um, but you'll spray at two week intervals and then it, it depends on the variety of tree how long into the season you go. Like cherries is a much shorter season so you you know usually spray to about the beginning of June and then with your pears and apples and things you'll spray a little bit longer. But this is more about the dormant oil spray today. So this is what I'm going to be using. I've got a hose stretched way out in here. Um, I'm going to be using this hose end sprayer because it sprays really far and it dilutes the uh, oil at just exactly how I need to. The cool thing too about dormant oil is because it's an oil, it's a self emulsifying spray, which means you do not have to couple it with a sticker. Because a lot of times when you're using different kinds of sprays, you need to add a sticker into it so that whatever you're spraying doesn't beat up and just roll off the plant. So the oil just on its own just envelops and stays on the plant. So that's awesome. Now right here on the top of this sprayer, we have a dial. Um, I need to do about two and a half ounces to the gallon. So I just selected that right there. And what I'll do is I'll pour probably this entire bottle in here and hook it to the end of the hose and it'll meter out just exactly how much of this it needs to, to go on the trees. And then if there's anything left in here, it's still to concentrate and I can pour it right back in here. So I've already taken the top off of the sprayer. So now I'll take the oil and I'm gonna pour all of it into the hopper. We'll put the top, whoops, we'll put the top back on and then take it to our hose. So the sprayer just screws on like this. We'll make sure it is really tight. And then we want to make sure that the sprayer is set to off before we go turn the hose on. All right, so when you're spraying, you want to make sure that the spray makes contact with the entire tree. So all the branches, um, focusing on the underside of the branches especially, and then the trunk as well. So we'll turn this on and see what happens. Now for really, really tall trees, depending on how your pressure is, the pressure in this hose isn't as good as I was kind of hoping. Um, most of the time you can reach to the very top, but if you can't, it's a good idea to get just like a little step ladder out, give yourself the height you need so you can reach the entire tree. So I'm just gonna keep going, get all the trees sprayed, and then we'll be done. Alright guys, I got them all sprayed and I was able to reach pretty much to the top of all the trees. 
I think I got them coated really well. So the next application of dormant oil will need to happen toward the end of this month or beginning of March. And I don't know if I'll be the one doing it or my parents, but you know, my mom watches uh, Benjamin every single Friday. So, you know, sometimes we're here and it's time to do something like this. So we think, ah, oh, this would make a great video. And also it's kind of nice to do some things to help them out every once in a while because they help us out a lot with Benjamin. So anyway, um, I did want to talk a little bit more about this dormant spray because it's not just for dormant application, you can use it in season as well. I mean, the label's got all kinds of different things on it, like roses, ornamental trees, evergreens, vegetables even. Um, so you can read the label. The label is incredibly helpful. It's so full of information. You can find what crop you're, you have, what insect or disease you're dealing with, and then it tells you what ratio to mix at. In fact, we'll put a picture of it up on the screen because I think it's just um, very, very helpful and it's very long. And I do recommend that you read the label. You find the crop you're dealing, you have, you read about it so that you make sure you're doing the application properly. I also plan on using the All Seasons Oil in my own garden on my locust trees. I deal with scale every single year. Um, so not only will I probably be spraying when the adults are present about midsummer, but if I can get some dormant applications going and maybe get control of it a little bit better. I think that would be so nice. So I'm going to try that out this year. Um, so I'm probably only going to get two applications on those done. So now and then again in about a month. Um, but we do hope to do more videos like this, like about specific sprays and specific insect problems or disease problems and what to do, when to do it, because I think it's stuff that we're all dealing with. And I know some of you, especially those of you who are just starting in with gardening and you're more beginners and you're a little worried about what to use, I think it might be helpful. It's also helpful for me too, because I learn a lot in the comment section. I learn a lot from you guys um, about what you're doing to combat certain things. And every area is a little bit different as well. So anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope it was helpful and we will see you in the next one. Bye.